Hello everyone. Today I'm gonna be showing you how to install Anaconda onto your system. The easiest thing hence would be to type into Google Anaconda install and it takes you to this first option wherein you can download the package manager Anaconda for Python and R distribution. So we'll quickly browse through this Anaconda distribution. Python version 3.7 and I want it for Windows. We can have it for uh, Mac OS also and Linux in a similar way. You can download it from here. So I want it 64-bit uh, because my system is so. So we'll just simply click on download. And let the exe file download onto my system. It will take 3 to 4 minutes. So let's wait. Now just one more minute left to go, few seconds now and your executable file is ready. So let me go into the folder which is on my desktop and let me double click it. Now it has started the online installation process. I just have to click next. I agree just me but if you are an admin and you want this package to be downloaded for all of your users click on this I'm using this as my path so just users my name Divya and Anaconda 3 is the location I would recommend uh, to install it in your C drive click on next and Anaconda does not recommend using the path environment variable as it may hamper with your softwares, other softwares. And you do not want to register Anaconda as a default Python 3.7 because sometimes we like to use the command prompt also. So I'm just clicking on install. It's extracting all its JSON and zip and tar files. It's gonna take a while. Now it has been more than two minutes and it's still extracting so it's a big package manager and it takes time. Till then I would like to show you all what kind of things that Anaconda brings with it. And these are the packages. There are some IDs for example Jupyter Lab, Jupyter Notebook, Spider that is that comes in handy with Anaconda. So for instance you have downloaded this package manager you don't have to go in and install Jupyter Notebooks or you won't have to install it over again. So it comes inbuilt with Anaconda and there are around 1500 plus data science packages or modules for instance, NumPy, SkyPy, Numba, Pandas, Bouquet, TensorFlow, Matplotlib. So you don't, don't have to go into your kernel and type in pip install and the kinds of libraries that you want and the kind of uh, versions that you want. They all come downloaded, pre-downloaded with Anaconda. Now let's inspect where have you reached. It's time, it's about to complete, just few moments. And we see that it has been successfully installed. Just click on next. If you want to install Microsoft VS Code, just go ahead. I'll just be clicking on skip. And then make sure that uh, if, even if you want to learn about it, it it's going to be opening a link in the browser. So. I'm just gonna uncheck it and click on finish. Then go to your start menu and you can see your Anaconda prompt and Anaconda navigator. If however you're not seeing Anaconda navigator upon installing this then just go to your Anaconda prompt. I'm sure it will be visible to you after this installation and type in Anaconda hyphen navigator and click enter. Wait for a few minutes. 
and the navigator will show up. And we see that our Anaconda Navigator got launched successfully. And in it, you can see our Jupyter Lab, which is a cloud based extensible environment. Uh, you can see Jupyter Notebook, your uh, interactive Python console, the Spider IDE. And if you want to download, you can also install RStudio. For that, you will have to spare some extra minutes to download and install it for VS Code also and Orange and Gluvase. But I, in particular, want you to take you to Jupyter Notebook. Just click on the launch button. And I would want you all to just pin it to your taskbar. And this gives you your all your uh, files and folders that are running. And complete the steps till here and we'll meet in the live session. Thank you.